guys welcome back to my channel I'm so happy to have you back if you are new to my channel my name is Maribel and I'm a personal trainer I do guides here for you to take with you to your gym or do it at the comfort of your own home for today's workout I have a shoulders and hamstring workout this is phase two of my bulking phase I've been facing I'm gonna say starting the summer and I'm up to phase two doing 80% of my rep of my PR. If you are joining me on this bulking phase, instead of shredding, the only difference is that you're gonna reduce your rep and you're gonna increase your weight. However, you can still do this workout if you do wanna shred. My tip is to increase your rep and then reduce your weight. So, let's get right into this workout, guys. I hope you make it to the end and I'll see you at the end of the workout. You do wanna do six different type of exercises for your warm up if you need any support go ahead over to my TikTok or my Instagram where I could actually provide more support for you guys so if you saw my last video I show the progression app which I always use just because it's more organized and it actually helps you journal your workout and this is a perfect way to actually see your progression and also keep you on track so our first workout is gonna be stiff leg deadlift you want to do four sets of 12 Again, if you're bulking, I want you to increase your weight progressively. Your two first set should be warm-up set, and your two other sets should be your working set. One thing that I also want to mention is, I know that I give you set reps and um, and set sets. However, you're going to notice once you are increasing your weight, most likely you're going to decrease your reps. That's totally normal and that's totally what you want to do. So, if you notice that you cannot do 12 reps but your weights are increased, you are on the right track. And I also want to mention, if you are at home and you are trying to do progression overload and you don't have the proper weight, you can still do progressive overload. You're just going to be doing it without weight and more with reps. That means you can still do overload with your reps. out of 12 it's pretty good next we are going to move to lion leg curls you want to do three sets of 10 if you are in the gym go ahead and use your machine
Next, you have donkey kicks, two sets of 12. You do wanna add weight, again, if you have that available. If not, just increase your reps or even sets. So now you're gonna be doing your reverse. Ay, te cansa. Now you're gonna be doing your reverse lunge. A tip that I'm gonna recommend is, let's just say that you're home. You don't have, you don't have access to a gym. You don't have access to dumbbells. Another progressive that you could do is, instead of being, let me show you. Instead of resting, you could progress by speed. Example, if you're going back. Level one will be stop, then switch, come back, and stop. So you could progress and just take out the stop, and just you working on speed, but you're still progressing your movement. Again, I'm gonna go backwards. So it becomes from resting, so you're not resting, you're just moving. So now that we're done with our hamstrings, we are moving on to our shoulders and we are starting with standing shoulder press. You do want to start with four sets of six, meaning you should be progressing and lifting a little bit heavier. So another tip if you really want to target your shoulders is knees. Be on your knees when you're doing your press. And I'm gonna show you the difference. When you're standing, you could you actually have your legs and you could actually push, but when you're on your knees, all of your force is coming from your upper body, aka your shoulders. So I'm gonna show you. So your next exercise is upright row. You'll want to do three sets of 12. If you notice, I saved most of my energy for the last exercise because um, I wanted to bitches, now I'm lying. Because I really wanted to bitches. One thing that I do want to call out is a lot of people for some reason any move, mostly when they're doing upright row, is they don't pull their abs, they don't engage their abs, but not only that, they don't stick their chest out. And that is super important. So when you are doing upright row, I do want you to focus on engaging your abs. Once you engage your abs, your chest should pop out. I'm not saying do, you know, we're not trying to do all of that, but just a little, It's just a way to kind of check, okay, my abs are engaged. I am secure and I'm not gonna injure myself. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Next move is incline reverse flies.
Our next move is incline lateral raise and you wanna do three sets of 12. Now, because I'm still working on my strength, I am gonna reduce my weight. This exercise was added to the program for phase two. So I just wanna make sure that my form is perfect before I move on to my weight. So that's another tip. Don't let your ego run your workout. Always form over everything, and then you go ahead and increase your weight. You wanna be sure that you don't get hurt or get injured. Guys, so you made it to the end. I really hope that you made it. Don't forget to cool down. If you need any support with your cool down or warm up, go ahead over to my TikTok or my Instagram where you can get extra support. I'll see you guys next Friday. Bye.